Warm up with this hearty, classic minestrone soup, packed with fresh veggies, beans, and pasta. It's a comforting and nutritious dish that is easy to make and perfect for any season. Okay, for this recipe, we're just going to start off by making our mirepoix. All mirepoix is, is 50% onions, 25% celery, and 25% carrots. For the onion, I'm using a half a cup. I'm using half of a large onion that we cut up another time but didn't need the rest, and we just wrapped it in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. Peel it, and we're going to cut this into just a small dice. And we're just going to add this to a bowl. Now let's chop our carrots. What we're going to do is we're just going to coarsely chop these. You have small carrots, you can just cut them into small slices of them. And now we'll add these to our mirepoix bowl. Now for our celery, we'll do the same thing as the onions and carrots. I'm using about three small stalks, but just chop up about a half a cup. To the bowl it goes. To a pan on medium low heat, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil. We're using avocado oil right now because we're focusing on choosing healthier options to eat, but olive oil works just as well. Our pan is heated, now we're going to add our mirepoix. And all we're gonna do is sweat these vegetables. All sweating is, is sort of making them soft and kind of translucent. This will take about five to six minutes. Our vegetables are now softened and now I'm going to add five cups of chicken broth. Be right back. Okay, our broth is added. If you don't have chicken broth, you can always substitute it with five cups of water and add the amount of bouillon you would need for it. To this mixture, we're going to add a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes along with the juices too. No need to strain it. 1.5 cups of red kidney beans. And over here on the cutting board, all I'm going to do is chop, roughly chop some spinach, about a cup. Then you're just gonna add this to the pot. And finally, add a quarter cup of orzo pasta. And you're just gonna combine all your ingredients. And now you're gonna bring this to a simmer and let it simmer for 25 minutes uncovered. Now that this soup is finished, we're gonna lower the heat a little bit. And we're going to add a half a cup of peas and a half a cup of green beans, fresh or frozen. Try to avoid canned. You want everything as fresh as possible in this soup. Add a half a cup of zucchini, and you're just gonna stir this until combined. Now you're gonna increase the heat a little bit again to a low heat for 10 to 15 minutes, or until the vegetables are softened. Our vegetables are soft, so now to this, we're going to add the zest of one lemon. Then we'll add a quarter cup of chopped parsley and one garlic clove. And now you're gonna combine all your ingredients. Now the next thing to do is to season it with some salt and pepper. Season it as you'd like. Add a little bit of salt and pepper here. Stir it in, taste it, then if you think it needs more, add a little bit more. And when you think it's good, your soup is ready to be served. And here comes the master himself of the final taste testing. Always add a little bit of seasoning at a time, stir it and taste because everybody likes it differently. And the last thing you want to do is over salt it. Once you over salt something, you can't fix it. I don't care how much sugar you dump in it, it's not gonna get fixed. 
think it needs just a little bit more chicken bouillon, which by the way, is just like a chicken seasoned salt. Overall, I think the consistency is well done. Good job, Aiden. Thank you. And that's my honest opinion. He knows I speak honestly. So I think what you should do is like his video, subscribe. All right, so I'm gonna mince up some parsley here for a garnish. This is a Noom approved recipe. And if you check the description for additional notes, you'll find that this recipe is 70% green. And if you paid attention to my first video, you'll understand that Noom color codes everything. Green is where you want to try and stick, yellow, and then try to limit your reds. So we're just going to garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley, even though there's parsley in it. And then some Pecorino Romano cheese. Tell me when to stop. Good. I was talking to the audience. Yeah. I actually enjoy that. <laughs> and now it is time to taste. I know what you're going to say. That's a lot of vegetables. I don't think it's going to taste that good. It looks too hearty. Well, it turns out all the flavors combined, all the that lemon, the garlic, and the parsley, and also the cheese as our garnish, it all meshes it all together that even the vegetables are delicious. If you enjoyed this recipe, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next Saturday.